This internet place, they call it toxic, but this is honestly my home. This is where I feel the happiest. When you're on the internet, you get to choose who's in your life. If you don't like somebody, you can block them. If you want to talk to someone, you can follow them. When I hang out with these guys, I don't feel awkward. I don't feel weird. I don't feel out of place. I feel like I belong somewhere. Peace first on my chin. Miss tag with my friends. Little flower got a bloom. I'm be 22 soon. Productive Funny started in 2016 when I decided to drop out of college. I always said I wanted to be like Tyler and create my own odd future. And I started building up a fan base online and I met my best friends through that. Zero zero be the network for 0706, Pala 08, fuck school, job out since a younger been a flame. I want people to feel safe when they're around productive funny. I want them to feel like they can be themselves and you're not at a judgmental high school and you don't have to be self-conscious anymore. Yo, I got this one melody that I wanna go crazy on. You define what cool is. You set the standard. I've been broke my whole life. Now Gab brings in this childish, I mean, youthful, fun aspect. Jeremiah, he brings something completely intergalactic to the group. Kitty Douchebag is going to be the future of music. We're the Power Rangers in the big robot form at this point. We're one. I was asking for his SoundCloud links on his story, and he actually like liked my stuff. And then we just like we clicked and just kept hanging out. Yeah. And, and we got this crib because I really wanted an art studio. And me and Jeremiah have been looking at cribs for a minute, and we found this place. And then got moved in like a few months after like, that. So now it's the pro house. Yeah. I basically mm -hmm. live here for 72 hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 72. <laughs> Rent's doing the first. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> 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 Our brotherhood, it's just natural. Like we had many friends come along and try to like be part of like the clique that we have, but like yeah. no matter what, it's always been us four. The biggest wow. thing is that we were the most driven out of all the people that we'd hang out around. Yeah. I'm kinda excited to shoot this now. All right, yo. Oh yeah, I guess we can go. Okay, so we're gonna uh, do a st like a cut for a little bit and then he's gonna yell at me. And then by the time the yell is over, we're gonna go straight into the hook. And then, and then it'll go back to Jeremiah's part. And then we're gonna be like doing them slow, like pull out scenes oh, no. where we yeah. pull the camera out and zoom out. And then um, the midway through Jeremiah's verse, uh, Gab's gonna like shove him and they're just gonna be playing around like. What Honestly, you last year was my first taste of success. I, yeah, yeah. I think the hardest part about this journey has been the fact that no one believes in you for a long, long time. <laughs> As soon as I moved to New York, uh, I was basically homeless and I was just couch surfing place to place to place. Jeremiah opened doors for me and I was sleeping on a twin size mattress, sharing it with him for a minute, you know? We look out for each other out of love. Music where you're vulnerable and okay with putting yourself out there is music that's timeless. Before we even started as a group, Jeremiah had his own clothing brand going, and then I had my clothing brand with Productive Honey going. So it's like we're always like opening each other's eyes to new possibilities with that. Jeremiah is gonna be a great, huge fashion designer one day. That's like what he loves more than anything. Tyler the Creator, is he kind of a big inspiration to me. I, I love his music, but like when I put on his clothes, it makes me feel like, like him in a way. It connects me more with that person because I'm wearing something that they thought of. Because we make, we make clothes that we would wear. So in that way, they're turning into us when they put on our clothes. That's, that's kind of the best way to put it. I wouldn't be the musician I am today if it wasn't for my best friends inspiring me. Everything I do is inspired by them. Wait, wait, you're here. Ah! This art stuff is cool, but when it's all said and done, I still have my best friends. You know, I still have my brothers. This stuff can flop tomorrow and we're still gonna be hanging out the next day. Why you gotta sleep all day, Mr. Simon? When you gonna be okay, then Mr. Simon?